So last time we saw how we can uh, change the color of the light using a color sensor. So in this case, um, now we have a new project, so we're using this particular display. So um, in this, uh, we have a APDS 9960, and we have an OLED display, and we're using the gesture control function to actually um, turn on or turn off the light. Okay, so basically, um, if we turn left, it turns on the light. If we go right, it turns off the light. So this is pretty cool, right? Okay. So um, this particular sensor can do a lot of things. It also has an RGB sensor like the TCS34725. Um, so this guy can also detect ambient light and it can also detect gestures. Okay, so gestures are pretty cool. Um, so basically you don't have to touch and you can turn on or turn off the light. The APDS9960 sensor is made up of four different sensors uh, for gesture de detection. So there's a right, left, up and down and then there's an LED. So as you move your hand from uh, left to right, so that it's going to be a left gesture. So what's going to happen is the first thing you're going to obstruct um, this particular uh, sensor. So basically this LED light reflects from your hand and this particular sensor detects a certain amount of uh, light from this particular LED and as your hand goes over you will see that these two sensors up and down are also detected and then later on as your hand moves over your left sensor gets detected. So this particular combination of uh, detection is uh, calculated using uh, this particular sensor and it says that you probably have left gesture and once that happens it uh, gives an interrupt signal and that is how the microprocessor knows that a particular left gesture or right gesture happens same thing happens for right except that you will see that the pattern is just opposite so first the left um, sensor is uh, detected and then left up and down and then just the uh, right sensor so this way if this particular pattern happens then the microprocessor uh, gets a signal from APDS 9960 that that is a right gesture so each one of these gestures have a unique way of this particular pattern and that is how this particular sensor is able to detect these gestures so there are a few approaches. So basically, once it sees a gesture, it sends an MQTT message to Home Assistant and Home Assistant can turn this guy on or off. Okay, but we are not going to do that. We're going to use the same approach as this. Uh, so what we're going to do is once it sees this particular gesture, it sends a REST API um, message to Home Assistant and Home Assistant sends whatever the REST API tells to do to this particular light. So the idea is to have a, a sensor connected to our ESP8266 and as we move our hand over this particular uh, sensor, we're going to use Home Assistant which, uh, which we have uh, going to use this particular library and this library the HA REST API that's going to turn on a particular light. So HA REST API can do a lot of things. It can turn on a switch, change the color of an LED light or um, any uh, light. And then uh, that is on Home Assistant. And then what we're going to do is just going to use this where we're just going to set a component and then we're going to set a light as false or true and you can do whatever to turn on and off this particular light. So hardware wise, uh, we have our Node MCU ES or ESP8266 with uh, the pins that are broken out. So we're going to connect the D1 to SCL, D2 to SDA, D3 to interrupt and uh, ground to ground and 3 volts to VN. And I've shown uh, where you have to connect these over here. Also remember to attach a 1000 microfarad uh, capacitor. Um, so make sure that uh, the stripe, uh, the gray stripe corresponds to the um, negative value and uh, this capacitor is important because this draws a lot of current and uh, this uh, uh, AMS 1117 that's usually included in your node MCU um, is not capable of providing enough power for both this particular MCU as well as the sensor so this kind of acts like a battery so this is quite important so if you don't have this uh, you will have issues reliability issues on this particular sensor 
And finally, you require, uh, you're required to install three different libraries. You go to sketch, include library, and say add zip file. So this is on Arduino IDE. So the first library is by Steve Quinn one on GitHub. So wh what this library does is actually a modification of SparkFun APDS 9960 library. But uh, this particular library is a blocking function, which means that every time it detects um, a certain amount of um, signal that is coming out in a sensor it actually blocks and i square c will not function while it is actually detecting a particular gesture so what this particular user did is they actually removed the blocking function made it non-blocking and that is quite important uh, for esp8266 because it does wi-fi as well so basically while it's doing wi-fi it shouldn't be blocked and uh, this particular library takes care of all that. So all you have to do is go and install this. Don't install the default Spark Phone one that uh, is usually meant for your, uh, um, you know, your Amtel chips. Um, so, so for ESP8266, I would recommend using this particular library. I have. I'm going to leave the links below, and HA REST API, which I'm going to also leave links on how to use that. Um, so you need to install this as well. And then this is the final um, library. So this final library is for doing the OLED. So let's go ahead and see what uh, how we're going to uh, do the code. So the code is actually quite simple. It's just an example from here. So in our code, we're just going to use uh, the example that is given in this uh, library for APDS 9960. So here we're just including a few libraries that are required for the OLED that I'm using as well as uh, the HA REST API that we talked about. So here you define the pins, you define the Wi-Fi client secure, and uh, you put in all your details that is corresponding to your network your home assistant IP, your home assistant port, your home assistant password. And then uh, finally, at the bottom in the loop, what you will see is that it is actually looking for gestures. So basically, you can define whatever gesture you want a certain action to happen. In this case, I said for left, go on, go and turn the bedroom three light on. So that's why it's true. And then again, for right, you just again set the component and then um, set it to false. So basically every time it goes left it turns on the light every time it goes right It's going to turn off the light. So there you go. So go ahead and try this out. This is quite fancy and uh, um, looking forward to what you guys build with it